y'all welcome back to janique tv my name is janique and i'd like to thank you so much for tuning into my channel today before we get started with our message for today i'd like to ask you to commit to my channel by pressing that subscribe button and after you go ahead and do that please also click on the notification bell that way you don't miss an episode of what i'm doing here today's message is a powerful one and it's something that a lot of people need to hear but before we even start talking about that i want to talk to you guys about why i haven't even been on here the devil be so busy, listen to me. And I'm so grateful. I don't know if y'all saw a little, um, it don't matter. If you saw it, you saw it, if you didn't, whatever. But um, I have been trying to film videos and my phone keeps telling me my storage is full, which is weird to me because I'm like, I just got this phone. So I just bought this phone literally in February because my last phone was telling me my storage was full and I'm like, this is impossible. So this time I tripled gigabytes. So what the, what's the problem, right? So I got 128 gigabytes and it was telling me I used all of them. I'm like, there's no way. I just got this phone. My last phone was like, what? It was the lowest gigabyte. So 64, I think. 64, whatever. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter how many gigabytes it was, but it kept telling me that I had used all of it. So today I really wanted to film and I'm like, let me just check and see what it's looking like. Cause I did delete some videos and some pictures and stuff, but it sits in your deleted folders for 30 days. So it's really not deleted. You feel me? So it's still on my phone. I go and check and it says I has I have only used 48 gigabytes out of 128. I transferred everything from my last phone. But it says I only use 48 gigabytes out of 128. So you do the math. It's it's not it's not mathing to me. So anyway, I am grateful that I'm able to get on here and relate this message today from the Lord. I want to talk to you about watching the company you keep, right? Have you ever been living right you ain't doing nothing wrong to nobody you don't have no bad karma built up you ain't doing nothing wrong nothing that deserves anything bad to happen in your life no bad karma you're not running anything up right but you are always around a person who is living foul living foul man your, your homeboy he doing girls dirty he's still getting blessed Ladies, your homegirls, they're doing these men out here dirty and they're still getting blessed. People scamming, they cheating, they lying, they stealing, they manipulating. They're doing all kinds of things wrong and you're not. And you're watching them get blessed while you seem to be getting everything taken away from you, right? This is such a clear message from the Lord, right? There is a such thing as secondhand karma and I don't think people believe in that, right? It is possible for you to be getting karma or receiving the karma from somebody that you're hanging around. That's why That's why you have to watch the company you keep. I'm not going to lie. God told me to cut off all my friends, all of them, every single one of them who were, who were not in alignment with what I had going on because the vision I have for my life is so big that everybody can't come along with me because I'm going to be enduring the karma that they're supposed to be enduring for a long time because God is trying to send me or you a message, right? Trying to let you know that this person is not who you should be around you have to leave this person in order to continue getting blessed because people do get blessed because of you you have to believe in that right i'm a i and i have a just a story to tell um i was hanging around somebody and they seem to have had god right and that's how we connected when we first started talking like we connected on on the god level right but as I hang around this person more and more, I notice that they are not practicing what they're preaching, right? They are not living that God life that they act like they're living. But on social media, it's portrayed to be one thing, but I'm really in their life. So I see like they living foul. So I'm not understanding how they're still getting blessed. And then all of a sudden I start going through some stuff. I'm like, whoa, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Cause I ain't doing nothing wrong. What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? Now, this is not to say that you won't go through storms because life happens. You know, things happen all the time, of course. But when when things start happening to you that ain't never happened to you before and your, your life start going through some stuff and you're hanging around somebody that you haven't hung around before and you got to start putting two and two together, right? You are all knowing and your intuition is the strongest thing or strongest weapon you have because it tells you what direction to go in, right? I say all this to say you are not the only one that get punished that gets I say all this to say that you are not the only one that gets punished for your sins, right? It says this in the Bible, and I'm going to go to a scripture here soon, but you have to watch the company you keep because if they're running up a bunch of debt, right, in terms of uh, karmic debt, and they, they um, are building up a lot of bad karma, and you're always around them, you're going to get the blowback from that, right? You're going to be impacted by whatever they have going on in their life because that's how it works. When you are tied to somebody else, you experience what they experience, you know, at the end of the day. Everything affects everybody around you. You can't be selfish enough to think that the things or your decisions don't affect those around you. They do. Okay? 
you have to watch the company you keep. If somebody is living or if somebody is around you or you have a friend around you or a lover or anybody, family member, you have them around you and their morals and values do not align with yours. So they're doing a lot of things that you don't agree with, but you just watch and chill and stay with them or stay in a relationship with, with them or communication because they're family or they're a lover or they're a friend. You are sadly mistaken. You have to go ahead and get out of that relationship and watch your life take a turn for the better. I am a witness to this, okay? So this is gonna bring me from my scripture for today. It's going to be in the book of Joshua and it's chapter 22, verse 20, okay? So it says, when Achan, son of Zerah, was unfaithful in regard to the devoted things, did not the wrath come on the whole community of Israel? He was not the only one who died for his sin. He was not the only one that died for his sin. In the Bible, people were put to death for other people's sins, to death. Now, it's a new day, so I'm not going to say you can die for someone else's sin, but there's a lot of times where you see people die or people, oh, say for instance, this is a good one. Thank you, God. This is a good one. Uh, say for instance that your friend is a drunk driver all the time. You be telling them they're doing too much, you know, but you're still always riding in the car with them while y'all are intoxicated, right? I saw a story where this girl, she had been in two car accidents prior to this, but this last car accident, she had three friends in the car with her and she almost killed everybody, right? I think one person was still living when the state trooper showed up and everybody was ejected from the vehicle besides her because she had her seatbelt on, right? So um, the state trooper walked up and he had uh, asked the driver, the girl who got everybody into the accident, who was driving. And he said he, he saw a seatbelt um, seat um, marking on her uh, body, right? And she said she wasn't driving, right? Um, but somebody had not died yet. One of her friends had not died yet. He walked over to them and asked who the driver was. And she, and she pointed at the girl that had just said to the officer that she was not driving, right? Her friends died. Her friends died because she wanted to be drunk all day. Because she wanted to turn up and drive crazy and reckless and not give a, give a, a care in the world about the lies that she had around her, right? You have to be responsible for those around you. And you have to make sure that those around you are being responsible for you as well. Just watch the company you keep. Pay attention to those you have around you. And I know I talk about this a lot because I am a firm believer about creating. I'm a firm believer that you have to create the life that you want. And the only way to do that is to take inventory of the people and things you have in your life and start doing some cutting. Okay. I hope you got this message today. If you didn't, that's okay. Maybe this is not your message, but go check out some of the other ones I have before you leave this video, especially if you stuck with me this whole seven to eight minutes, go ahead and click on the like button. I appreciate you. It's free. Um, and stay tuned for the next episode of Janique TV. I love you so much. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.